my lovelies welcome back to your july 4th so these videos are for four and five okay and then we'll meet back here on the sixth to reinstate our videos i'm just going to take a quick sip of some lemonade let's get started this is whatever comes out again this can be for love this can be for lifestyle we're in the post moon phase of the capricorn super moon and these can be incoming, okay? So take what resonates only. Again, if it isn't your message, just leave it behind for someone else or another Libra. And let's get started. Whatever comes out, please, for a Libra. First few cards that come out on the table are the Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Very drastic energies. Let's move forward before we clarify. The Seven of Swords can be someone looking in on you. It can be, sometimes it's deceitful, but you know what? I think we have a good attitudes toward that. Um, now Libra, we sure do. Page of Swords is also here. Page of Swords is an onlooker. It can be a curious person too who's examining a particular situation. I'll tell you what I see as well. We have the Three of Pentacles. I'm going to take the next one too because it did flip and the Three of Swords. Okay, so what I'm getting from the Three of Swords and there's a lot of your energy on this side of the table. We have the Three of Swords um, in its upright position. There is someone that I feel from the past is coming into your reading to let you know that they're here, okay? Uh, they do watch from time to time. I do think, Libra, that this person tries to stay as current and as present in your life as possible. That's the Three of Swords. It's like, I'm heartbroken. This can also be you since it's your suit and card. And I feel like because it falls under the Page of Swords and I take card placement rather serious when it falls, I feel like this person still checks on you. Um, very endearing motions. There's no hard feelings here that I'm getting in this reading. I feel like this person is just kind of wishing and hoping to bump into you. And we have the Seven of Swords too. So it's almost like they have the same story going on. Um, they're hoping that there's a run in. I feel that in love. I also think for Pentacles, you guys have been getting a lot of good Pentacles cards lately, the six and the three. So this is generosity and also being cohesive with other people. It's symbiotic, okay? Um, I feel like you're receiving this now. This is like Libra receiving energy. Two days ago, you had a reading on the channel called Receiving Your Flowers. Not Miley Cyrus, but just Receiving Your Flowers. This is all that's coming back to you. And I feel like after this was finished over here with the Page of Swords. So can you show me a little bit more information? Thank you. The Five of Wands is here. That's competition. That's also people around you saying stuff. Um, it could be conflicts within family. It could be conflicts within friends. That's the Five of Swords, competition and conflict. As you see there, they're fighting through the grasslands um, to get to whatever, the next empire. I feel like there are, it's almost coming in as coworker energies. This is gonna be real specific, but I feel like you're competing against a certain position, Libra, where it seems that everybody knows that you've done so well. They can't even argue through it. It's almost like Libra's done a good job I'm still going to be mad. I'm still going to be a hater. <laughs> so that's here in the Five of Wands and the Queen of Cups. That could be you, rather intuitive. Very intuitive here with the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Pisces moon, a Cancer moon. You could be a Scorpio moon as well. I feel like you're in your feelings, but it's very soft. It's more of a let me ruminate and restock. Let me think about where things are going. And you're taking a moment to receive as well, since that is here. And you're okay with receiving for now. Um, you do want to give a part of you does, but you just want to recoup. That's what I'm getting in this message. Can you show me a little bit more? Can I see this five of wands that showed up for Libra? Can I see the five of wands? We do have a flipper. It's the nine of cups. So it could be that you're sitting pretty. <laughs> it could be that you're sitting on your finances quite well. Like you could buy all the July 4th groceries today on your own. <laughs> and I feel like maybe there's some haters. There's like jealousy that... Um, you do well on your own or that you're just doing your own thing. You're staying in your own lane, Libra. You don't like to bother other people. I think that they're attracted to bothering you. There's something about that here or maybe enlisting you to do things for them. And that could be something that's happening as well. I feel like there could there's some haterade going on. There's a little bit of that, but it's nothing that you can't handle. I think that you're very humble and you handle it with some promising shoulders. I feel like uh, you're dedicated so let's look at a little bit more of your receiving energy. Can I see the Six of Pentacles in Libra's reading, please? Thank you. We have a flipper, a King of Cups. He appears in your reading, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone is really missing you. Um, 
loves you a lot. The king and the queen of cups are both in this reading. I feel like someone wants to tell you a little bit of why they've been gone. Um, maybe sorrowful that you left too. There's something about that as well. When the king and queen of cups shows up in a reading, they're both very emotional, but in their own ways, you know. Um, the queen of cups can be thinking about things and just relaxing, and the king of cups can actually be... I don't know, ruminating over the past, looking over old photos. This person's really in touch with their feelings at this time, okay? So let's look at that. Can you show me the King and Queen of Cups? Thank you. The Ten of Swords is reversed. We have the Hermit also here. And this means that the betrayal and everything that was involved with that pain. Um, and now that you have the Three of Swords here, it's all making sense. I feel like both people have gone away to think about their circumstances, what they brought to the relationship, the things that didn't work out. Um, it's highlighted now. Both people are in realization mode over this. Um, it's quite beautiful to be in this spot because sometimes we are blinded during this relationship journey where you can't really see where you went wrong and you do this through shadow work. And this person is probably also doing their shadow work if they are highly spiritual okay um so let's go forward i'm gonna post this somebody needs this today because i feel like this is one of the readings where someone truly resonates okay you could be listening to a particular artist too you could be listening to a musical artist that means something to you we have the star okay so on july 4th and it seems here like somebody needs to get out something too i see that in the reading it's like i have to say it or i'm never going to get a chance to the star could be, I feel like this is Libran energy for today. Many of you are going to look absolutely amazing where you go. Um, I feel like where people see you, you're going to pop out. Some of you are looking rather unique too, like you've added something to your wardrobe that's rather unique. The star is Aquarian, and of course you, have, you could have Aquarian in your blood. <laughs> but I did want to add here that the star kind of fell on the King of Cups, and that tells me someone is thinking of you, but you're at your peak now. There's something that you're doing that's right. Um, it feels really balanced, Libra, with you as the star. What's at the bottom? The Five of Cups. You can't even make it up. You can't even make it up. The Five of Cups is here to kind of clarify the queen and the king's feelings, okay? And I feel like it's mutual today in this read. Can I see a little bit more on the five of cups? What are those cards that indicate this five of cups? And again, this is regret, it's deep sorrow. Sometimes it can be missing someone as well, but that's more the six of cups. The five of cups is like more review over why things happened, okay? Thank you very much. Yeah, there's some walking away here. We had the eight of cups yesterday, the four of swords, and the two of cups that's really interesting information here at the end so we did have a very long break with someone four of swords long break for no communication i feel here that there's a lot of time in this particular story there's been it's more than months so i feel like you could even been separated from this person for up to a year okay and all this person wants is to be in your energy i feel like this is a classic case this is a a tarot daily where I would say that somebody just wants to get back to where it began, okay? And that's the main message is if it has all these kind of sad cards leading up to the Two of Cups, it's very much about missing you, missing your aura and your energy and the things that you brought that were very good to this person. You might have even, um, Libra, your spirit could have uplifted this person many days. Like I feel like if they had a down day, just seeing you made their day better and they're realizing that. But now that you've walked away, um, I feel like they just want to build something again with you, even if it's being friends, okay, and just talking daily. Can I clarify this Two of Cups, which is a union it's also really special when you see the Two of Cups at the very end. We have the Queen of Wands. So if there's a feminine Libra watching today, you are viewed as the Queen of Wands, highly creative. Um, you go after your goals. You're very goal-oriented, I see here. And um, you don't let anyone get in the way of that. You know, you're kind of just working your own corner. Six of Swords to heal with you and the King of Swords. See, the thing is it involves being direct. It involves stating the truth. The King of Swords is the one of the higher truth-telling cards for me as a reader. And it's about healing too. So both need to take place in order to receive this Two of Cups if it's still here for the two that want it, okay? And if not, this can still result in friendship. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But I do see a long break affected the two people, the Four of Swords again, okay? Um, I do think someone's like a little jealous of you and your Nine of Cups. That's damn for sure. That's very for sure here in this reading. Um, 
and I don't mean to laugh. I just think that it's kind of cute that, you know, no one's letting up even that you're happy. But we do have the Six of Swords here. Okay, so someone wants to heal with you. And this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's the way to end a really cool, swift reading. I hope you guys have a fabulous 4th of July. Uh, I hope you're with your family and you enjoy the day. Um, all the good food and the fireworks that are included in that. Uh, don't forget to watch Shania Twain tonight too. She's performing on the um, on the NBC I think it's NBC or maybe CNN. Um, I hope you guys have a great, great day and let me know if these readings resonate for you, if they made you happy, and if they coincided with your current story. I love you all. Until the next video on the 6th, take care and I'll see you then.